players in the past, when there's interim managers in charge, you can imagine that there, there is this kind of, maybe consciously or subconsciously, there is an element of going through the motions. Um, we know the transfer window is, is in a couple of few months. Um, are some of those players thinking, well, I might be gone by then? So again, I'll just keep ticking things over. Josh Hawks, for me, yesterday, he looks a player devoid of any confidence since he missed that penalty. And again, although he's not playing great, it wouldn't surprise me if he might move in January. Um, so yeah, there's this uncertainty from players. That they might leave in January. We might bring new players in in January. So they might not play. So yeah, un uncertainty going through the motions along with this lack of confidence that there's clearly on our travels along with the 4-3-3, the, the, the three, three, which personally I don't think is working. Um, yeah, I think you're right. I think we do, they do need some certainty because you can imagine they're all talking about the changing rooms. Uh, and Nigel, for all his positive, I, my, my gut feeling as well is that he never wanted the job. He's, he, he, we, we all knew that it was a good chance doors would be sacked and surprise, surprise, it happened. Nigel would clearly come in. Again, he mentions nearly every interview. He's a Birkenhead lad and he loves the club, which is all great. Um, so I think he only came in really to, I suspect he enjoyed his previous part-time role of coming in, chatting to everybody, trying to improve all of the different clubs, aspects of the club, walking along the wheel way. I suspect he enjoyed all that. Um, now I think he's just there helping out the club because he obviously loves the club and his mate Palios. Um, but it doesn't sit, as you say, there's been a marginal improvement, but where can we bank on him? Because you, we've got two options. We either persist with him to the end of the season and hope that it's enough to keep us up. So that's one option. And if they announced that tomorrow, if they said, Adkins is saying he's staying to the end of the season, at least there would be some clarity for the fans and for the players. The problem is, again, Palios's recruitment for managers overall has not been great. So I'm sure he's got a list on his desk of potential candidates that even if Adkins turned around to one of them and said, look, Mark, this isn't working out. I don't fancy it anymore. You know, that they will have a list of people. And I know we've speculated in the past about different people who we'd like and things like that, but this is the real dilemma that we have. You either stick with Adkins who on the face of it at the moment, isn't really working overall, slight improvement, but isn't really working. So that's your one option, which isn't ideal. The other option is to bring someone else in. And then we've got these issues of resources, because if you want to bring somebody else in and they want to bring in their own coaching staff, then we've, we've got to get rid of Dan's, Parkey, um, uh, Hodgie, if they want to bring in their own fitness people. Can we even afford to do that? It is a real, a real concern at the moment. Um, and and I, I, am, I don't envy Palios, who gets a lot of criticism. For me, he loves the club and he's clear, my view is that he's just not, making good football decisions he's good at turning around businesses fa chairman but i think perhaps as an ex-player he dabbles probably too much in football things that perhaps he should just let people get on with things so that probably doesn't help but he's in i don't envy his position now because he's either got to say do i stick with adkins assuming adkins wants to or do i just bring somebody in but the past managers that i've brought in my record isn't great so and as you say <laughs> I cannot even imagine, and I said this last time, I don't even want to think about the prospects of going down again. I mean, um, our only hope at the moment is that there's two teams that are actually worse than us, but we can't bank on that. Um, and, and the whole management situation, as I say, it then impacts recruitment. Clearly, in my view anyway, we need some more centre-half competition. Uh, we've got a million full-backs, but are any of them any good? Um we're still unbalanced. If we're going to stick, you know, you talked before about bringing recruitment in for a four-three-three system. Well, why on earth did we sign Christian Dennis? Because he just looks like a fish out of water. Um, uh, so yeah, we do need some clarity. And surely Palios, I know he stays off social media and things, but surely he will know soon that the fans, whether there's another Q and A in the offing, or that they do need to make some sort of statement, not just for the players, but for the fans as well, because he will know that there's a lot of concern. And the more this goes on, you know, if we don't, if we don't win on Friday, or if we go to Stockport with good numbers and potentially lose heavily, it, it is only going to get worse. The toxicity, the atmosphere is only going to get worse. And if it gets worse, we're only going in one direction. So something needs to happen either in terms of 
announcement is Nigel Lamana, and we're 100% backing him and he's going to have resources in January to bring in players, then fine. Maybe some of the existing players will think, right, Tom Davis may well pull his finger out and think, right, well, actually, uh, I'm pretty rubbish at the moment. Uh, they're going to probably bring someone in, another centre of January, I better get my act together. But at the moment, he's just, you know, club captain, I mean, that's a joke. He's just really poor. So, um, but all we can do is, is hope that the, the club do come out with something and then at least we've got a bit of certainty. But my gut feeling, like yours, is that Nigel doesn't want it. And if he doesn't want it, fine. Um, but we but we bring someone else in. But the earlier that we do that, the more time they have to assess the current squad and then to look at, right, who could we bring in January? The last thing we want to do is we trundle along to January, February. Nigel brings in a couple of signs. We're still not working. We get rid of Adkins in February, March, and then someone else comes in and they haven't got time to turn it around. So the pressure is on Palios to, to make some decisions quickly.